Hey guys, this is Scott Tabor. In this video, I want to show you my five favorite gypsy jazz tunes. Now this style of music, gypsy jazz, was basically invented by Django Reinhardt in the 1930s in Paris, and he's still considered today one of the greatest guitarists to have ever lived. And this style of music is super upbeat, and it definitely falls into the Latin guitar category, because we're using a lot of the same scales that you would hear in flamenco and Spanish guitar stuff, the harmonic minor scale, and what's sometimes called the Hungarian or gypsy minor scale. And to me, there's a similarity between gypsy jazz and flamenco, because what we do with the thumb in flamenco moving from the wrist is very much what you see these gypsy jazz players do where they're rotating from the wrist so they can get a more aggressive attack which we do in flamenco quite a bit so a lot of these gypsy jazz songs are surprisingly short some of them don't even have a b section so if you have a short attention span like me that's perfect it takes a lot less time to learn you'll see me play these five songs with the tablature beneath and i just have the basic melody tabbed out i'm doing some ornaments and embellishments on top of that basic melody but in the tab i've kept it simple for the most part so that you can learn the basic melody first and then add any embellishments or ornaments that you want to on top of it once you have it down. And don't forget on YouTube videos you can slow down the song and keep the pitch by clicking on the settings icon. You can slow it down 75% or 50% or you can even speed it up. And all these tunes are played at 200 beats per minute. So let me show you my five favorite gypsy jazz songs. So let's check out the first one. This song is called Swing Jetan, which literally means gypsy swing. And gypsy swing is another term you might use in place of gypsy jazz. So when this song is very short in the key of G minor, it's only got an A section, but it's a must know in this style of music. The next one is called Jangology, written by Django Reinhardt himself. This one is in a major key, key of G major, and is a great example of how resourceful gypsy jazz can be in terms of the chords that we use. You'll see me using this shape, which is an inversion of an A chord. I drop down only two fingers, and that shape is the one we see in gypsy jazz all the time. And we drop it down again, I stretch my fingers out, compress them. Here's the minor seventh chord, pretty close to them. There's that shape again. In one case, it was a diminished chord. Now it's a D7 with an A in the bass and then a G major second. So a lot of these gypsy jazz songs, when they have a B section, they'll just simply modulate up a half step and you'll see that happening in the song. Swing 48 is the next one, also a Django Reinhardt song. Now this one is simply a 12 bar minor blues progression, uh, but it's a perfect example of how we can use the same shape for an entire song. So, so this song is in the key of G minor, like Swing Jutan was, and we're starting with a minor six chord. We got the root, G, skip a string, E is a major six, then we have B flat as a minor third. We can take the fifth out, which we very often do, and we've got a, a minor six chord. Now we're gonna slide it up to C minor sixth, and then back down to G. For an E flat seven chord, we'll slide it up to the sixth fret here. Um, e flat, the root is missing, but your ear is gonna fill in the gap, so we just keep it this way so that we can whack more strings and not worry about having a string ringing out that we don't want. And then slide it down for a D seven, and those are all the chords. So check this one out, swing 48.
The next one you may have heard is called All of Me. Now this wasn't written for Gypsy Jazz. It's an old swing era jazz tune. Really awesome lyrics if you go check it out. But this one is definitely a part now of the Gypsy Jazz repertoire. This one's in a major key, has a lot more chords in it than the ones you've heard so far, and some great little music theory concepts in there like a secondary dominant and the parallel minor idea. This is a great old song, All of Me. last song is my number one favorite gypsy jazz song called Dark Eyes. It's actually a Russian song. Very short, only made up of one theme. Here I'm playing it in the key of D minor. This one, instead of starting on the one chord, starts on the five. So that already sounds a little bit different than some of the minor key ones we've heard. And one thing you'll often hear in gypsy jazz and in a lot of styles of music is a tag ending where you take the last part of the song and repeat it a few times and maybe do a variation on it. That kind of telegraphs to the listener that the song is ending. And when you're playing live, it's kind of a way to have a more bombastic kind of ending. So you'll see me do that here. And what you'll hear me play to finish out that tag is one of the most common stock endings in all of gypsy jazz. Check it out. So those are my top five favorite gypsy jazz tunes. There are many, many other ones, of course. And don't think that you can't play this style of music. You do see a lot of people shredding up and down the neck. But go back and listen to those old Django Reinhardt and Stefan Grappelli recordings. He uh, plays fast sometimes, but very often he isn't shredding like a maniac. More of the way he's playing and the groove that makes it gypsy jazz. So if you're into Latin guitar, Spanish guitar, flamenco guitar, gypsy jazz is a definitely a style of music you should delve into. A lot of similarities, and you could even play some of these songs without a pick on an nylon string guitar. So I hope you like these tunes, and I'll see you in the next video.